it's Alex at Inspiration Clothesline and I did an unboxing video for this Illustrated Faith Goals Kit already. Um, so you can take a look at that on my YouTube channel. But I am going to focus in tonight on the first week of this kit called Wisdom Goals. And I've watched a couple of other ladies. They're doing some awesome things. I hope you'll check out Britt Carlton and Counting Sheep Bible Journaling. Um, they've done some really cool things with acrylic paint and I was so inspired I thought heck I will jump in here and do one of my entries. I will be honest and tell you that a lot of times my entries I put a lot of thought into them. Um, I worked in November and December to not make myself think so much and to just do an entry every day but what is more typical for me is that I take an entry that's on one of these cards or a uh, the content on one of these cards and I try to take it as far as I can and so one thing you'll see that I'm gonna do with this kit um, with wisdom goals is I know that the verses that it quotes are James 1 5 through 6 um, but I will be and while I may journal there I'm also going to utilize some of the like there's wisdom written here there's wisdom written here um, you can use other stickers to spell out wisdom I'm going to try to spread these resources throughout several entries um, instead of like oh I, I'll use all the wisdom pieces on this entry for example I know that one of my goals for 2018 I want to be to be rereading proverbs frequently um, there's 30 proverbs or 31 proverbs and I want to be able to um, occasionally read one a day for a month or to take my time and go through it longer and so I'm going to do some of my wisdom goal journaling in proverbs because I know that, that that's a goal for me in 2018 so I'm going to spread these words out these stickers and resources out over a couple of entries per card that's one way that I make eight devotional cards work for me in the course of a month. Um, I also loved Counting Sheep has decided, Counting Sheep Bible Journaling has decided to just put a hole in the top and keep these on a ring and to do that for a couple of months. One thing I like about doing that is that you could then use the cards still. Like if you decided to keep them on a ring, you can keep them whole, but I'm a big fan of cutting pieces of these cards out after I've done the content. Oftentimes I'll just take a photograph of the content so I have it still if I wanted to refer back to it, but then I would punch a tabby out of this or I would cut this out and put it on a page. So I probably would also use this on maybe a third wisdom entry. Um, so hopefully you can follow along with some of those entries this month as I share them on Inspiration Clothesline, um, both on Facebook and Instagram. But for tonight, I'm just going to dive in. Um, you, again, I, as I mentioned, you can... Um, take a look at the unboxing video also in my profile. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I just recently purchased this awesome, it's hard to see here, but new Bible journaling bag. And I had filled it with things that go perfectly. Here, let's see if you can get a top view without bumping the camera too hard. So inside my bag, I packed it with things that I'll be using for this particular kit. And so my Bible fits perfectly in there. I've got a little pouch. It comes with a couple of clear pouches. I'll link this in the description below um, but I've loaded it so that I can take it on the go I have four little boys five and under and so I'm often having oftentimes having to Bible journal someplace that's not optimal or not my home so I do that so that while I'm out if I have a few minutes I can still journal um, this first card for this kit this month is for wisdom goals pardon the bump there and um, it is from James 1 5 through 6 this is the New Living Translation. Um, I use the ESV version, but I love what this one says. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking, but when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. So the first thing that comes to mind here is that idea of the wave that if you're unsettled, you're blown around like a wave and that I don't want to be that way. Um, but the wave is such a great visual that I think I'm gonna use um, this blue color that's in the kit in a lot of places, kind of a teal color, and see if I could do something maybe with a wave. Again, this is just off the cuff, so I'll probably do that. I've also, we'll read this, look at these, but I'm gonna use this James verse as a starting point for several wisdom entries. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dive into that verse right in James 1. Um, and I will, let's see here, open up here, Timothy, James, 
and this blank this page happens to be blank which is perfect because I'm gonna dive in and create kind of a wave effect on this page um, and then stamping these kits always come with acrylic stamps and I'm gonna use these diamond hexes I also pulled out um, a tab if I can relocate it that kind of goes with the color scheme and it had a geometric pattern on it so I will um, use that because it kind of goes with it I'm gonna stamp hashtag goals because that's the name of the kit and I like the continuity of having that on multiple entries um, and then I probably will pull out one of the wisdom stickers to use. And then let's see, what else? Oh, I do know for sure that I'm gonna use, I picked this up in the dollar bin at Michael's. I love it, I think it's probably for like planner people. I mean, it's like a little list and you can check them off. So I'm gonna write down some of my faith goals that have to do with wisdom, one of which being related to Proverbs and ways that I can work on my wisdom uh, for coming from the Lord. Um, and then I also know that I saw on one of the other stamp kits that Dayspring puts out. Um, this is a from the basic set, I believe. Clear stamps. I liked this word because it's something I'm also always working on is listen. So I think I'm gonna pull that off and maybe use that to like write on this list. So I will like to, I'll probably have some that are handwritten, some that are stickers and some that are stamped on the list. So watch that carefully. And I'm just gonna set to work here.
Okay, so what you saw there in a little bit of fast forward was me sort of creating my background, my base. I'm probably gonna go back and add a little bit more to touch it up um, and just be, wanted a couple of things I wanted to point out. You saw me use some Neocolor Pastel Crayons to do some underlining there. Those are another favorite tool I use. Um, the other thing you saw was I actually, my current Illustrated Faith Pen, I left, one of my kiddos left the lid off, so I had to switch over to the Micron, but I love these Illustrated Faith Pens. Um, and then what I'm gonna do here is I already shared with you that these were two that I was gonna do. I'm gonna grab some stickers and do some other creative writing here to add some things to my goals. The other thing I wanted to share with you is that when I am journaling in my Bible, um, I have a way that I differentiate between scripture that I'm quoting and when I'm actually journaling. So sometimes I might take this verse and like actually write it out or I might take a cross-referenced verse and write it out fully. When I do that, I just write in my own handwriting. But when I'm actually writing journaling thoughts, and I think I picked this up from Shauna Noel, I underline it. So you'll see me here, I will write some thoughts of my own here and then I will go back and just quickly underline it. That way when I'm looking at a page, I'm sharing with someone or I'm looking back at it, I can quickly tell, oh, this is a quoted scripture because it's not underlined and this this is my thoughts because it's underlined. Again, that's just a system I've developed to <clears throat> be able to differentiate between scriptures that I've written out and my own thoughts. Um, makes it really nice and easy. So I could show you that here on this page, which was an advent page, this little bit of journaling here was my own thoughts. Um, I could show you like here, um, this was from the gratitude documented. I was actually quoting scripture here, so I didn't underline it. Um, let's see if I can give you one other. So here's a great example where you see both. This is a quote on script of scripture that's actually written in quotations versus this little bit at the bottom is my thoughts and my journaling. So it's underlined. Same thing over here. This is a scripture. This is my thoughts. So that's something that that's a strategy I'll employ here. I also picked this up from somebody where if you cut these tabs in half, um, you don't know that that's the color scheme on your next page. And so if you cut them in half, you get two tabs out of them because um, I'm always looking for things to coordinate. Okay, popping back on to show you a few more details I'm added to the page. Um, one thing I did was I found, I use these little alpha stickers that I have to spell out learn and then follow. I was debating between follow or obey here. Um, ways that I can work on gaining wisdom from the Lord. Listening, I'm gonna read Proverbs. I'm going to continue to learn and to follow what he teaches me. I'm still working on what I'm gonna put on those lines. And I also wanted to really mark that this was for 2018. Um, so I'm using some stickers. I think I got these with one of the, um, ooh, those are gonna be a little tight. I'll have to go over a little bit further. That's one tip I learned from somebody and I didn't follow my own tip. <laughs> you start where you want it to end so you know it will fit. Um, so there I should have started at the James and moved backwards. So for example, if you wanted the word to, to end perfectly here, you would start here. So here I'm gonna start right before James. It seems common sense, but I can't tell you how many times I've made that mistake um, and then it doesn't fit. So I'm going to put my eight down first. This is a little washi tape um, that comes, it's a one of the Illustrated Faith line. Just added, I like the black and white, the stark black and white. Um, and then I will trace over those numbers to make them pop. Um, like I said, I still need to add two more wisdom goals. I keep flipping back into Proverbs to really think through what words I wanna put on this because I know that I'm gonna be focusing for wisdom goals in the book of Proverbs. And so I want to really look there for keywords of things I want to put into practice this year. Um, it really is a book filled with insight and how to gain wisdom. So I wanna be referencing that when I'm writing this, the last two items on this list. So I'll be flipping back and forth here, finish those up and give you um, on paper, one last look at, with a still shot, this page and how it turns out. I will link um, the Dayspring website where you can pick up these extra supplies um, and be sure to stay tuned to see the final product as well as check out the description for different um, supplies you can pick up from Dayspring. Thanks for using my affiliate link as I use my commission to provide supplies for my local meetups for Pacific Northwest Bible Journaling.